Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm staring at the sun. And I'm also talking to you about Disa orchids. So I was gonna repot this one, and I thought I'd bring you guys along for repotting my Disa orchid. If you watched the last video, you saw I just made up a huge batch of sphagnum moss from a, a compressed brick. And yeah, the reason was to get repotting some of my orchids. So this is a Disa uniflora. It's a red one. And I got it last spring, the spring that just passed, and the one main growth, <coughs> excuse me, it did very well, it grew quite big, but um, it has started to die and rot, so it's time to repot it. Since this one, which is the main growth right here where this leaf is, is dying back, I've got this great big new one out, so it's nice and fresh. Another one off to the side, another one over here, another one over here. It, um, it looks like there's probably at least five orchids in here. So I'm going to repot this, try to separate out this big guy, and maybe separate out some of the little ones into different containers. I want to use a square container this time because it's more space efficient. And I want to use a lighter color container because these guys don't like the roots to get very warm at all. So um, I've got some media ready, but what we're going to do is let's, let's come down and we will unpot this guy together. The reason we want to unpot this is this one here that I have is starting to go rotten. After they've done their growth cycle, they naturally go rotten. And you have to remove that rotten little stolen that's down there, the bulb, before it actually like rots and decomposes some of the extra roots. So I expect it to be um, an easy job, but a fun job. And we'll have a look at what the stolons look like together and um, how to repot Disa orchids. All right, so here's my trusty unpotting tray. A um, couple extra tools I have are a pair of scissors in case I need it for cutting roots and a little finer pair of scissors. I'm gonna take out my tag and let's see what this guy looks like together. There we go, so big root system on it, really big. Lots of little plants. Uh, you can see it's a mixture of mainly perlite and sphagnum. But let's just um, take this guy apart together. We'll get rid of the wood bug that's in there too. He can go in a carnivorous plant later. So, with nice, nice root system on this. Hopefully you can see, I'm gonna readjust this a little bit. And my goal is just to knead out the media without damaging any roots. And there comes the um, old plant out right there. So we gotta see what roots it had and um, remove those old roots and just try to separate this out. Very, very good root growth on it. Amazing root growth. So I did fertilize these guys quite a few times this year. Um, just with the basic orchid fertilizer. They also got some um, seaweed fertilizer and some fish fertilizer. I'm just going to continue to knead this out. I think what I'll do is I'm going to go over to the sink and we'll really clean this out and that way I can be a little bit more careful. I'm just going to spray all the, the moss out and be right back. So with a quick rinse at the sink you can see I've separated out quite a few um, of the plants already. You can see where they, they're coming apart. So I'm going to just continue to work at the sink there and I'll be right back. You know what, why don't you come with me. Let's see if we can set you up here. Okay, hopefully you can see, I'll put that guy in there, lift you up a little bit. There we go, how's that? You can see in the sink. And I've just been using the shower mode to clean out some of the debris. Comes out quite easily with the sink. Lots of little um, baby guys in there, that's for sure. I think I'll give it a good blast. Let's turn this to jet, but we'll turn it down a bit. Now we're getting somewhere. 
I like the sink because it's tough on media but easy on roots. There we go. Now that it's all cleaned off, let's go back to our tray. Okay, so here's what we're left with. There's um, a nice division right here. So we might as well snip that guy off. I'll leave a bunch of roots with it. Just like so. Now, I thought we had another division. Maybe it's left in the sink. Oh, we did. We left a nice one in the sink here. So there's a nice another division. And all of these guys, this sort of size, should be planted up separately. Here is my main plant. You can see the big stolen on that one. And I'm just looking at where the other little one came from. I don't see much of anything there at all. Nothing at all there. So there's a good shot of the Disa roots. And a few other stolens are developing. You can see one's going to come out right here. And yeah, there's a few more. So this is what we're going to repot today. And I don't know if I can get this little guy off. That one's kind of attached to it. It's already got another one coming up. But what we'll do is we'll switch out the trays and repot these guys together. All right. Here's what we're working with today. Some of my brand new sphagnum moss and a whole bunch of perlite and these square nice pots. Kind of a creamy tan color. They won't get as hot as say a black pot. And I'm just going to mix my perlite in with my sphagnum. You want a large amount of perlite in here. It's like a 50-50 mix basically. At least that's what I've been using and seems to be working good. The moss itself is fairly dry, not bone dry, but pretty dry. I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom and a little bit of perlite down there. We'll see if we can fit this guy in. He's not even going to fit in. So we're going to leave him for now and we're going to pot up one of these little guys in there. What I was going to show you was just sort of put them in and let them hover in there because the roots are very um, easily damaged and I'm just going to backfill around the roots with this guy sort of in place already. Hopefully you can get a little bit of a, a look at that as I'm working here. And then after we're done this, you make sure you uh, write up a tag for the new division and put the date on the tag that um, you repotted it. There we go. So I'm no expert at Desis. I just started them this spring. I'm afraid I haven't got one to flower yet, but um, it's because in the spring I started with something uh, smaller than this anyways. So I'm hoping that big one that we're gonna have to repot is gonna be blooming size and will bloom for me soon anyways. There's one repotted. The only thing this is gonna be missing now is a good drink of water. Here is the next one going to be repotted. So I just backfill a little bit there. You notice how I'm really, I'm not touching the roots much, much at all. And I just want to backfill around the roots. And let the media sort of flow in between the roots. That way the roots almost get frozen where they are. Not compressed down. There's media below them already, media above them. Piece of something in my moss. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is stop the camera, go find an appropriate pot for our big one, and repot that guy up. I'll grab some more moss while I'm out there because we seem to have used up all the moss anyways. And we'll go from there. All right, I'm back. I found a bigger pot. It's not square, so there goes my um, theory of white or of square pots, but at least it's white, so that's good. And so here's our main plant. And I will say, you know, thinking about it while I was off camera, I'm a little disappointed that um, the stolen that we had to remove wasn't so big and obvious. I um, did a repot earlier today on my other one, and there was clearly a, a stolen, not this big, that, that root there is pretty big. 
but that was dead and black and I had to sort of pick it off with the roots that were attached. I'm not sure if the one that got planted up for me because I just got that one in the spring didn't have a stolen to start with it just had some roots but I was hoping to show you guys that so we'll have to um, look at it again maybe next year we'll repot them again and go from there. Um, another thing I noticed you can see the roots here they're sort of a cream color and you can see the runners that are a white color that are producing new plantlets as well that will hopefully grow stolen so there's two more on there that are growing and we removed two so there was a total of four plantlets on there. This one coming right off the base here as well. Doesn't even have a uh, runner. But anyways, just sort of interesting observation. I grabbed some more moss while we were here. Well, the camera was off as well to go in the bigger pot. It's still nice and dry. I'm going to just fill it up a little bit in there first and then set my plant in there. And I think this will, um, with this will plant up nicely in there. The roots just sit so perfectly in this pot. So that's good and we will just backfill making sure we get right into the center of the root ball there just going to poke it around a little but i love the way the roots just sort of float and you just backfill around them just like so and then once you give it a water everything sort of settles into place and you can see how much perlite is just going in there copious amounts this recipe I got from a, a trusted grower, the person who um, gave me these plants. And it definitely, you know, starting with two plantlets. And one of the plantlets isn't here on the table. So this one plantlet I started with of this kind has produced this good size one we're repotting now. Two smaller ones and as you could see from the, the runners, two smaller runners as well. So there we go. But anyways. That looks pretty good. You know, I'll give it a bit of a water and make sure it's stable. These guys here I watered while the camera was off. So you can see what they look like since transplanting. Not too bad. There's one. There's the other. And here's my new main plant. So lots of room for roots. Lots of room to grow. This guy's certainly blooming size at this point, so hopefully we get a bloom off of him before he um, starts to fade himself. And anyways, that is repotting Disa orchids. My first time repotting Disa orchids. Well, other than today, I'll show you this one too. I repotted this guy earlier today. This was the one that had the, um, the rotten stolen on it that I actually had to remove, which would have been more of a show for you guys, but I didn't know that this pot full of them wasn't going to have that. So, I hope you like this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, updates on these Disas and everything else I grow, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.